What would you say that your biggest regret is in your career? Some my mom would shoot. You sit there and you go, okay, I was on drugs. It had to be. Someone put <laughs> LSD in my toothpaste. This can't possibly have happened. I just want you to know that young man next to you is my son. Mom, stay out of this, okay? I think I did it because I was trying to get back at Arnold. I heard he was going to do it, so I said, I'm going to do it. And then he went, ah, I've tricked you. This rivalry between you and Arnold Schwarzenegger, was that real? Was oh, that? Oh, man, that oh. was authentic. I came face to face with him the night of the Golden Globes, and he's at the table. And I'm going, who is this big guy? And he goes, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, new talent of the year. I go, excuse me? <laughs> All right, so he's gloating and gloating and gloating, and then finally it's time for Rocky. And we're not getting this category. And then I lose best act. I'm going, Jesus, this is a nightmare. And I see him kind of like, mm -hmm. Ooh, And yeah. then finally it was Rocky, best picture. I managed to grab this giant bowl of flowers and heave it in his direction. Yes. And oh yeah, he had lilies and tulips. I'm telling you. And I went, okay, the gauntlet is down. Yeah. <laughs> and this began a 10 year battle royale. Wow. I mean, we couldn't stand to be in the same galaxy. Now we realize we're the same person. <laughs> that's, that's Don't what tell it was. me you're friends. Great friends. You are? Uh, uh, fantastic. I can't be as bad as you, really. Trust Seriously. me. Trust me. Trust no, I'm me. Serious. You're horrible. No, you're worse no, than No, I'm serious. Obviously, Rocky was such an original idea. Those kind of original stories have gotten lost for the most part, aren't yeah, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because to gamble, to forsake all sense of uh, security. So that's crazy almost in today's, like investing your own money in a movie. Goes like, Ugh. But in the 70s, I would have. Before it was like a very visceral, emotional, and fly by the seat of your pants, I have a hunch kind of business. Those days are gone. Now it's very, very clinical, scientific, uh, uh, informative, and uh, pragmatic to the point of just ad nauseum. Uh, I remember when they were doing musicals and uh, Julie Andrews and around it, and then things started to die, all these musicals were going, right. and then you had Easy Rider. I'm going, this is what you call a transition. Right. <laughs> that, to Mary Poppins to bikers. Right. And, and it was working, because no one in their right mind would say, okay, we're gonna go from gigantic studio films to two guys on a bike with a handheld camera and uh, think that it's going to work. Down, stay down. Rocky has transcended the times. Why is that? Rocky was the most insecure fighter ever. I mean, he just had no, no belief in him whatsoever. And I think a lot of people feel that and they say, oh, they see the character in the film overcome it and they're sort of saying, you know, I can do that too. You know, he can't fly, he's not superhuman, he bleeds. I can relate to that. Hit me. What is it in your long distinguished career that you haven't done that you'd still like to do? Mm. There's a lot of personal things I'd like to have a redo, but who doesn't? Right. I think what I'm doing now is what I should have done a few years earlier, which is do a, a, an amalgamation of all my experiences, everything else, and try to form a company where I can now mentor and, and oversee and be kind of like the clearing house for problems. Say, I did that, don't do that. And work it that way as opposed to just constantly performing. I don't think that is in my blood. If I never acted again, it's okay. But you're not saying that you're done. Acting. No, I'm not saying I'm done, but it's it's not a vital necessity. Right. I, I, I feel complete without it. Right, you know, right. I've got daughters that takes up a lot. So there's no ego left. If you have three daughters, your ego is pretty well pounded into a BB. There's no, <laughs> so I can take anything. All these years I've kept my secrets. But the time has come to face my past. Rambo 5's coming out, right? Yeah. I am so shocked at how good it turned out. And I don't say that very often because it was done under such duress. Mm -hmm. The duress being that you've lost the element of surprise. It's been 10 years later and you wonder, okay, people are gonna buy into, you know, 
the geriatric Rambo and after the night, but this <laughs> turned out to be, wow. Is this your last Rambo? You know, I've said this since the second one. There is no last. Just take it out of the vocabulary and sit, gone. There is no no and there is no last, the word last, mm -hmm. This one was never supposed to happen. I did the story for this maybe 10 years ago. Right. And it's gone through so many incarnations. But finally, I'm the only non-Hispanic in the movie. Mm. So it's very, very real.